Namaste. Welcome. If there is one breath regulation or pranayama, I really suggest you to grow and keep in your practice. It's the Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana means the cleansing and the purification of our energy channels, the conductors of energy. We call Nadis. A Nadis absorb everything that flows within, including the trauma, the mental stress, the toxins, and the heaviness, even uh, the issues of the heart and the mind, our emotions, you know, get clogged inside the Nadis. So Pranayama, or breath regulation exercises, or practice, should be done together with a supportive lifestyle and a reduction of mental stress. And this combination of two on and off the mat observances shall lead to the opening of the pathway of the energy. So the breath can flow within, so you can promote the health of our vital systems. Nadi Shodhana is good for the heart. It balances the heartbeat. It's proven effective in reducing stress and anxiety. So it's good not just for the body, it's good for the mind. As a preparatory practice for stillness, Nadi Shodhana allows the pathway of the energy to flow within. So when we hold our body still in the Shavasana, the breath flows easily. There's no contraindication to the practice of the Nadi Shodhana. Everyone can do this. So the basic technique is simple keeping the spine tall. With the right hand blocking the right nostril, the thumb, you know, firmly but not hard, inspire the breath with the left nostril mindfully and consciously. And at the top of the breath, there's this organic suspension. Our breath is like that. At the top of the breath, there's a pause. And then just keep the pause there. Not too long, maybe just one second. And the ring finger blocks the left and exhale the breath to the right. And at the bottom of the exhalation, there's also this organic pause. So really observing the stages of the breath. Inspiring. Pause. Exhale. Relax. Inhale to the right. Pause, exhale to the left, relax, inhale, feel the breath rise, exhale, relax the outer body, empty the breath out, inhale, feel your inner body go brighter inside, exhale, relax the outer body. Inhale, feel the energy rise. Exhale, relax the mind. Breathing in. Breathing out. As you inspire, your internal eyes follow the movement of the breath higher up the cranial cavity. And as you exhale, send your internal gaze back inside your heart. Breathing in, let your heart shine through. Exhale, relax your heart. Breathing in. Breathing out. So easy to practice, but very powerful and helpful. Effective in balancing the energy and getting the mind involved, it becomes a meditation. The spine would have to remain tall. The spine is the pathway of the energy. And lightly just allow your head to move forward, 
so we open the pathway of the inner chi leading to the cranial cavity so the life force can enter to nourish the brain before the practice of the Nadi Shodhana, just really stagnation. If you feel it, for example, before the practice, you feel your nostrils are clogged, what you do is you know, to get a covering and then just sneeze a few times until the blockages are dissolved. Yeah? And then do mild asanas. Right. So you don't want to be doing too much of the asanas before the Nati Jodhana, especially if you are practicing this before your stillness. Yeah, so first you lengthen the spine, lifting the arms up, spreading the fingers, you might look up, and then inspire the breath, and then visualize and hear the frequency sa. And exhale with the humming frequency ha. Then after a few times of side stretches, you do a mouth twist, a couple of breaths to the right, and a couple of breaths to the left. And then loosen the neck, yeah, yeah, circle the head around the shoulders. Yeah, and then you settle, yeah, and practice you know, the shadana. Right. Through time, yeah, as your inner systems become more efficient processing the breath, yeah, you will be able to lightly do the purakakumbaka or inhale retention. And start small, start easy, suit your ability. Maybe explore four second retention. So breathing in and at the top of the inhalation stay thousand three, thousand two, thousand one, a light clip. Exhale to the right. Breathing in through the right. And staying at the top. Four, three, two, one, clap, a let your spine, exhale. Right. At the bottom of the exhalation, don't do re the retention, just about pause and inspire again. Staying, four, three, two, one, change, exhale, and repeat. Right. Puraka Kumbaka, or the retention, or the suspension at the top of the inhalation. So what happens inside? Yeah. Our nadis, this uh, absorber of energy, the conductors of energy, um, they absorb yeah, and collect more prana out of the gaseous oxygen. They like that. Yeah? So they collect, they absorb, they like sponge. Yeah? And they have this ability to store extra layers of energy. And that extra yeah, we're going to keep inside our bodies. So we can use this as an energetic buffer for health, our wellness, and our well-being. And after the practice of the Nadi Shodhana, yeah, release the body again. All right. If you feel like uh, you need to do some forward bend and twist, you do that. All right. And after, before you lie down in the Shavasana, rub your hands like this, you know, vigorously until you create that heat. And then feel your tight spots. Yeah, if you are sitting tall, yeah, you might feel the neck. Yeah, you need to relax a bit. All right, so you might want to cup your head like or neck like that. Right? and then use the fingers to lightly massage uh, the back of the neck, and then go higher up. Yeah, but don't press. And just a mild rubbing, right? And that space, the top of the neck, close to the skull. Yeah, you decide. And that's where the energy uh, enters the body, uh, the medulla oblongata. Yeah, as soon as you breathe, the energy goes there to nourish the rest of the body. So just a mild massage there. Yeah? And then do that again. Yeah? If you need a few more repetitions, do that. Yeah, the neck and the shoulders. All right? And then yeah, cup your eyes. Yeah? All right, allow your eyes to relax inside your eyelids. Like you're opening your eyes yeah, behind the closed eyelids. Right? But don't press on just a cup, man. You don't want to be pressing the optical nerves. Right? And then breathe here a few times and release and then rub again. Yeah, you may rub the legs. Yeah, our hands are very healing. And then after the practice, lie down in the Shavasana. 
with your head lightly uh, supported with a cushion. Cover your body, you know, cover your eyes, cover your head. All right, and stay in the Shavasana as long as it feels light for your spine. If you find yourself sleeping in the Shavasana, just be. You deserve it. Right. So stay in the Shavasana and stillness as long as you have the time. Right. As long as your spine is relaxed. As long as the mind is relaxed. And then just breathing lightly through stillness. Yeah. Might be five minutes the first week or so. Yeah. If you have the time, go as long as 10, 15 or even 30 minutes in the Shavasana. You deserve it. Our bodies and our nervous system, they need recovery and restoration. So grow and practice Nadi Shodana. It's my medicine. It's so healing. I can't remember the last time I was sick. But of course, this will require time and practice to grow. Good luck. See you soon. Namaste.